Ari Slandy Lara stops Gary O'Sullivan in the eighth round of their scheduled 12 round fight. Before we get to the video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys like and subscribe. Now, it was very obvious that from the first round that Ari Slandy Lara was just two levels above. Gary O'Sullivan, a guy who's been beaten by every time he stepped up to world level badly. You can say he's a C-level fighter. I don't want to be mad at you if he said he's a D-level fighter. He's not the best guy in the world, but he has heart. And the first three rounds, Aries Landelara was showing extreme dominance over Gary Sullivan. Then in round four, with I think 20 seconds left, he drops Gary O'Sullivan. He hurts him with the left hand. Gary O'Sullivan was going down, and he hands him with the left hand while he is going down. Gary Sullivan gets up. There's only like four seconds left on the time. He manages to survive. Round five, Laura was doing great again. It looked like even the tail end of the round, he was about to stop Gary O'Sullivan. Then Gary O'Sullivan lands a perfectly timed counter left hook. And Eris Landy Laura was visibly, you can say, I want to say hurt, but visibly shaken. Round six, Gary O'Sullivan starts to pressure Laura. Seems like Laura lost. All of his guests with that left took the hit in the tail end of round five. Round seven, O'Sullivan continues to push the action. Seems like Laura still tired, but the tail end of round seven, Laura catches Gary O'Sullivan with a huge left hand. When he caught him, there was only seven seconds left, but the referee held back Laura. It was very weird. And yeah, I know Gary Sullivan was being outclassed. In the beginning of round eight, the doctors went up to check on him, which was very weird. Uh, I was screaming, there's nothing wrong with him. His nose isn't twisted backwards. He's not bleeding over his eyes. His eyes aren't shut. It was very weird. Laura hurts O'Sullivan again in the, in the beginning of the round. And referee jumps in to wave off the fight. I thought it was a premature stop, in my opinion. Because we saw Laura was gassing. Maybe Gary O'Sullivan recovers and could knock out Laura. Laura, obviously, a shade of his former self. Even a guy like Chris Eubank Jr., I would favor him over him right now. I think if he fights Gennady Golovkin, like how he's been calling for, I think he gets killed. Does not seem to be even... I thought the Laura of old gets killed against Golovkin. Golovkin catches up to him, and he gets stopped late. Maybe not even late, mid mid rounds. Right now, old Golovkin versus old Laura. I'd pick Golovkin to win in four rounds, in my humble opinion. Now, give me your thoughts in the comment section below. What's next for Laura? Do you agree with the stoppage? And do you agree that he was tired prior to the stoppage? Like, subscribe, and enjoy the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, let me know why. Sadiq Boxing, out.